I think it's important that the president talks about the things that uh, the president and Congress have done for the American public. For example, capping insulin at $35, uh, uh, allowing Medicare for the first time ever to negotiate to bring prescription drug prices down. The monies that we added for, uh, you know, the monies that we added for the affordable health care to cover more people, uh, the uh, Inflation uh, uh, Reduction Act, which is the largest climate bill uh, that we've ever passed, the largest investment, but more important, more importantly, the bipartisan infrastructure bill. That has brought in so much money for the state of Texas, over $30 billion for roads, for bridges, for water, for sewage, uh, uh, for broadband. Uh, in my area, you know, I cover from San Antonio down to the, to the border, uh, billions of dollars have been uh, provided because of the bipartisan infrastructure bill. So I'm hoping that he can highlight the good things that we've done and what the uh, future holds for America. He's got to present a strong vision, uh, and that includes talking about border security. So I want to ask about the border. Well, I think the uh, the president needs to look at the American public uh, in their eyes and say, hey, listen, I know there's a problem. Uh, I'm going to do everything I can as the president, but I need Congress. Congress plays two roles. One, pass the Senate bipartisan bill. Uh, Senator Lankford, a uh, good Republican of Oklahoma with Murphy, Senator Murphy and Cinema, they put a good deal. I read it. It's one of the strongest border security bills that I've seen since I've been in Congress. And then the other thing is Congress has to provide funding uh, for Border Patrol, for ICE agents, uh, to have consequences at the border. That is, you detain and you deport people that are not supposed to be here. And hopefully we can, uh, through the Senate border deal, we can do something about asylum. It's too easy for people to come in. Too easy where at the end of the day when they get in front of an immigration judge four, five, six years later, 87 to 90 percent are going to be rejected. So we've got to do a better job at the border. How would you describe the state of our right now? You know, if you look at it, we have the uh, lowest unemployment rate. We created all these jobs. When you look at inflation, and it was a problem because when the world shut down because of COVID, everything shut down. But the country that has done the best in getting back has been the United States. It's not Russia, it's not China, it's not Europe, it is the United States. Do we still need more work to do? Absolutely, we need to. But, uh, you know, the, the stock market is up, everything is positive. Uh, sometimes the American public doesn't feel that they're feeling it. But if you compare it after the world shut down, the U.S. is doing better than any other country in the world.